always lived this lifestyle. Um, I grew up in a small town in the South and got married and had a family and we raised our family in suburbia. I was like really longing for something that I really, I didn't even know how to define. We are in what is known as the Montgomery County Agricultural Reserve. It is 100,000 acres of land that's set aside for agricultural use. And I discovered this when we were living in D.C. I would come out here and pick, and at some point um, I realized, gosh, there must be there must be some something for sale out here, some place to live. And sure enough, there was. And we discovered this little seven-acre property, and we bought it, and we moved out here, and my life became something very, very different from what it had ever been before. So fast forward to my youngest child, my daughter, um, out of college several years. She called me one day and said, Mom, I just saw this documentary. It was called the true cost and it's about problems in the apparel industry and I said gosh that's amazing that you would bring that up because I've been thinking a lot about clothes lately and I've been thinking how at, at my age and my lifestyle out here I'm outside all the time and working outside I'm in the garden and it would really be fun to um, to uh, design things that I want to wear and that are um, environmentally um, friendly and fashionable. So we said, hey, let's, let's like, let's do this, let's design clothes. And um, the name Lady Farmer came to both of us kind of simultaneously because we live out here amongst a lot of farmers and a lot of them are young women. And it just seemed so appropriate and it just stuck. And we went with it as a sustainable apparel company. And during the process, we realized how much sustainable clothing overlapped with so many other areas of sustainability in living. And it quickly became about not just clothing, but about everything you, you use in your daily life, products. So in this exploration of, of sustainable living, we have become very, very particular about the products that we choose to use in our own life and the products that we recommend to our followers. We just do the best we can and we tell our followers to do the best you can. In my personal daily life, I, I, I really try to use things with ingredients that I recognize. Um, a few months ago, I discovered Boom. These, these products really, really fit my values and my lifestyle because they're simple, they're natural. I, I know what it's made of, I know who made it and um, it's easy to use and useful to me and I don't need much. I'm, I'm all about simplicity and I just, I want my face to feel moist and I want to give my face a little bit of color when I need it and really that, that's about all. younger people is that there's so many more chapters to come and when you're young you, you don't know you don't realize like you, you, you think you have it all planned out in your head and like the way it's gonna be and what you plan for your life but the really beautiful surprising thing is that you really don't know and the things that do transpire are just more exciting and wonderful and out there than, than you even ever need to plan for yourself. So the thing is to like, don't worry about your age or where you're supposed to be at this, this stage in your life or what you're supposed to be doing. Just keep your heart open and keep your mind open and, and, and let it go. And you will find all these wonderful adventures that's still ahead for you for decades and decades to come. And here I am in my seventh decade, and I never imagined anything so fun and wonderful as what I'm living right now. And um, it's just, it's just really wonderful.